baby that is some juicy action right now you guys better stay tuned hey yo what's poppin people welcome to another video today we're going to be doing some fall fishing tackle shopping here at bass pro shops let's go ahead and get inside So today I'm going to be getting some fall fishing lures, but mainly all of this tackle is going to be for the river. Of course I can use this stuff in some of the ponds, but I plan on going on the river a lot, pretty much after finals. We're doing finals right now, so we've been really busy. So pretty much going to be loading up on the tackle, possibly go on the river this weekend, use some of these baits. And if you guys want to see a top five fall fishing baits video, be sure to pepper that like button and let me know in the comment section below. I actually got old Alan Bob with me. He's actually uh, going to come back to my house because I'll tell you that later in the video, but let's go ahead and shop for some lures. If you guys saw my last video where it was pretty much how to fish crankbaits, we were out on the river, and I kind of talked about, you know, DT6s, how they just munch it out there on the river. I just really didn't have any. We're gonna buy a few today. I'm gonna show you a few of the colors that I'm gonna pick for dirty water. I'm telling you, this is some juice right here. If you guys got some rock that you wanna throw this thing on, you know that there's some fish loaded up on, this DT6 is the way to go. Let me show you which colors I'm gonna get. So this is their whole section right here. My favorite color of all time is actually this one right here. This is actually the one I was talking about in the video. It's called Demon. Um, it's like an orangish red crawl color and it's got some purple on the back. I'm telling you, this one right here is some fire, guys. Fishing Dirty Water, this is a fire bait. And then I'm gonna be looking at this one right here, which is a chartreuse with the black back but it's in a DT6 rather than like the square bill I was throwing. So I'll probably get a few of these for sure. You gotta give me an old 2.5 square bill by KBD. Chartreuse black bag, that is some straight juice right there. So this is actually what I'm working with for all the crankbaits. I got two of these Demon DT6s right here. It's got the yellowish red body with the purple on top. I got one 2.5 KVD square bill. This is a chartreuse of the black back like I was catching them on in the last video. And then I got this chartreuse black back DT6 right here. This should smuck them as well. I've never tried this color, so I'm kind of curious about it, but uh, they should whack this in that dirty water on the river. But we need some slow moving baits as well. So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the old derived speed crawls by Zoom. Right here, you got the black and red flake. This is like a staple on the river for me. This is like a bait that I always use. So we're going to have to go with a pack of these. I just missed the cart. A pack of these right here. So in the last video, I asked you guys to pretty much comment down below what how to fish video you guys would like to see. And one bait that you guys really commented and everybody's liking the comment was over a chatter bait. And if you guys don't know, that is literally my favorite bait of all time. I have like two favorite baits, but for shallow water, a chatter bait is definitely my favorite bait. So we're gonna have to go with an old chatter bait right here. Um, throw in the old tackle box for the river. I'm telling you guys, it's a juice bait, especially this time here in the fall. They absolutely smuck this bait right here, especially when they're chasing bait fish. And one other bait I'm gonna go with that's very similar to the chatter bait. Bait fish imitation is, you know, spinner baits obviously, but there's a different, there's all different kinds of spinner baits. And right here I'm gonna be fishing in you know, a very, very muddy water. I'm gonna want something with, you know, a pretty loud thump. You got these regular willow leaf blades and then you have some with the Colorado blades down here. Pretty much the difference is with the willow leaf blade is it's not gonna be, it's gonna be a little more subtle. You know, it's not gonna thump super, super hard. That Colorado blade is a lot bigger and it's gonna pull off a bigger vibration, bigger thump. So that's what we're gonna go with. So this is the one that we're actually going with. This is the laser eye spinner. It's actually by Bass Pro Shops. As you guys can tell, chartreuse, two gold blades. Those are Colorado blades, not willow leaf. This is a standard willow leaf blade right there that's what i was talking about that's very subtle this is going to put off a you know heavier vibration and it's perfect for that dirty water so as you guys can tell you know i got the speed crawl by zoom and this is in black and red black and red is a very great color for dirty water that's what i've had my best luck on black and red you got black and blue and jew bug all three really great colors but we're going to go with one more soft plastic today that is a very great bait um and it is going to be simply some old Senkos right here. These are actually Stickos by Bass Pro Shops. Uh, these are black and red flake as well. I'm gonna go with the same color as the crawls. I'm telling you, if you guys are fishing dirty water and you haven't tried black and red, you need to go give it a try. So everyone, just left the Bass Pro. I'm gonna be going to my house and I'm gonna lay out all the tackle and kind of show you guys what I got and like where I would throw it and like how I would fish the stuff. I think that's something I could add into this that you guys might enjoy. So uh, I catch you at my house. 
So Alan Bob's actually at my house. He's cleaning out his kayak because he actually keeps his at my house and there's some big things coming. So Alan Bob's about to upgrade. But at this this is main story is he's about to upgrade. He's about to get him an old Cadillac. But that's gonna be coming soon in the new episodes. Adam too. They're both they're both upgrading. That's all I'm gonna say. They're both upgrading. There's gonna be some episodes on it coming soon. They're just hosing it down right now, cleaning it off and that whole deal. So the first thing I would like to say is all of these lures right here are not gonna be, you know, perfect for everywhere that you're gonna fish. Like I picked these out for the river in specific, but I would like to talk a little bit about fall fishing in general. Those fish are chomping, that bait's pushing up, that whole deal. And you know, some baits that I didn't buy are amazing for fall as well, like a jerk bait or you know, a fluke or even a drop shot. Jigs as well, I actually meant to buy some jigs, but I did not get some jigs. I wanted to get some while I was there. But uh, let me show you exactly what we bought. So moving on to the hard baits. As I was talking about, we got these little DT6s by Rapala. I got two demons and then a chartreuse and black back. These crankbaits right here are perfect. They dive around six foot, obviously, noting uh, the DT6. I'm gonna be taking these out on the river this weekend and I'll show you a little bit more in depth on how I work that and how I get more bites on those baits in general. But if you guys are looking for a good, you know, medium diving crankbait, I'm telling you guys, this thing is amazing the dt6 such the, the colors that they have are really amazing and i've just caught a lot of good fish on the dt6 in general and i've, I've caught over the past couple of years i've just loaded up on them they are going to be a little bit pricey um they're going to be a little bit more expensive than your average crankbait but i promise you if you guys are looking for a crankbait to catch a lot of fish on a medium diving crankbait that is a really really good choice and this is actually one bait I didn't really talk about me grabbing, which is actually an old rattle trap. It's just a red eye shad by striking. And this is a gold and a black back. I've had a lot of good luck on this right here. This, this same trap in specific right here. Um, I've actually taken this to Seminole and absolutely warm out on it. And I will be taking that to some ponds here soon and whacking some fish on that as well. I promise you they'll tear them up. One of my favorite pond fishing moving baits is a trap can absolutely kill them. And uh, if I'm on a lake, you know, fishing old grass flat or something, ripping a chatterbait is an amazing bait. But that brings me over to the old chatterbait right here that you guys were talking about, which is my favorite shallow water moving bait of all time. I absolutely love a chatterbait. And I believe a chatterbait is a great way to get a big bite. I just feel like most of the fish I catch on a chatterbait are really high quality. This is great for, for ripping through some grass as well. And uh, also throwing around some lay downs and uh, fish that are just chasing bait in general i would be whipping this out on the river for sure and i'll show you guys some tips on that and if you guys want to see a tip video on that be sure to pepper that like button and let me know in the comment section below because i'll be sure to do that and then right here i actually have a 2.5 square bill by strike king and this is the chartreuse the black back and this is pretty much like the crankbait i was throwing in that video except this one's not you know cedar or a wood crankbait but if you guys want to go check that video out i will pop the link below it is a killer video. I have some killer square bill or crankbait fishing tips in general in that one. And I think you'll get some value out of it. Moving on next, we got the old spinner bait. And old spinner bait is a classic, guys. I mean, a spinner bait just catches fish. And I throw them, you know, year round. A lot of these baits I'm going to be throwing year round. But I, I can just tell you one thing. A spinner bait will catch fish. I don't care the time of year. I don't care what people say. A spinner bait will catch them. Of course, there's going to be certain times of year where, you know, they're going to bite a spinner bait better. Um, but that's that's with all baits. That's just how it's going to be. But I feel like this definitely needs to be in your fall fishing arsenal when going out to the lake when those fish are chasing bait. This one's actually a straight chartreuse spinner bait, and it has Colorado blades instead of willow leaf blades. And like I was saying in Bass Pro, the Colorado is going to put off a heavier thump um, in the water, and it's especially for dirty water. That's very key. Um, night fishing as well. That is that is stellar because it puts off a ton of vibration. It's not like that willow leaf where it's more, you know, of a subtle profile. And we got two more baits for this, and this is actually the soft plastics that I chose. These two soft plastics are great, and the color I chose was pretty much for the river because in dirty water, I love black and red, which I talked about. So these are just regular Sankos. These are the stickers by Bass Pro in black and red. And then these are the Speed Crawls by Zoom, which I absolutely love. I had a video on that that I did this summer. You guys need to go check that one out because it will change the fishing game. I promise you, if you go watch that video, take the value that I said in that and go apply it on the water, you will catch a ton of fish. But I'll link that one below as well. But uh, overall, that is the baits that I got. These are some of the fall fishing baits that are a staple in my box when it goes 
when it comes to you know fall fishing. Like I said, you got jerk baits, you got flukes, um, even the old drop shot. I'm always whipping out. I mean, there's a ton of other baits that are really good for fall fishing, but I can go more in depth on that in another video. If you guys would like to see a top five or a top ten fall fishing baits video, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And uh, also, yeah, pepper that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm Noah, the owner of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys could please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And then there's actually a little bell right next to it which if you click that is gonna send you post notifications every time I upload. I have three uploads a week. Right now the schedule is a little weird because of uh, finals and that whole deal. I've been super, super busy lately and I have a lot of side projects I'm working on. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, pepper that like button up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with ass, uh I get it, get it, uh, anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh, every day, uh